have you ever been to a party where there's a caricature artist drawing everybody that sits down? Well, that's what I do at events in Florida. I got my start at Disney World drawing caricatures, and now I draw at parties and events, and I've been doing it for the past 10 years. I've developed my own method for drawing a face step by step, and in this video, I'm going to slow it down, use a photo, and explain it to you as I draw. Okay, here we have another one that was sent in from a subscriber. And this is how I would draw this person if I had them sitting right in front of me at an event. So basically what I would do is just sketch a silhouette of the shape of his face. And that's it. That's my whole sketch. But what I was thinking about is that the space below his eyes is bigger than the space above his eyes. And I was just trying to keep in mind the shape of the cranium and the head shape. Even though I didn't draw it perfectly, that's in my imagination. And so now I can get started. And the reason I developed this method is that when I'm drawing at an event, I've just got a few minutes. I've timed myself and I'm averaging like four minutes, but if I try to do one in a hurry, I could probably do it faster than that. And that comes out to about 15 people per hour that I can draw at an event. And That rate is pretty good. I can get a lot of people drawn. At The average event is about three hours. Okay, now I'm looking at this whole shape, including the eyebrow. The eyebrow is kind of shaped like this. Bridge of the nose is the next. And I always say that if this doesn't come out good, we'll just pretend like it was practice. And it might be practice, because if it don't come out good, I'll just delete the whole video and start over, and no one will ever know about it. Just kidding about that, but, or am I? But I'm just drawing the shapes of these eyebrows, and these like wrinkles under the eye. Now the nose, I'm seeing a triangle. I don't want to do any more of a sketch, but I see a triangle here. And then the, uh, the nostrils are kind of wide. I call that a wing. The nostril kind of sticks out like a wing. And the whole shape is a triangle. So I'm going to try to draw it that way. I'm going to finish the shape with the nostril, which you can barely see. And then the, I mean, the, the opening of the nostril and then the outside of the nostril. And then I can even draw a dimension line. And I drew that very light. So what I call a dimension line is where, okay, this is the top of the nose. And then the direction of the shape changes and goes down from here. And then where it bends is a dimension line. And if you look on the photo, you can see the shadows change and there's a highlight that runs along that line. So those type of indicators are what I look for if I'm going to draw a dimension line on there. Now 
Now this is just a quick sketch, so um, I can do much more detailed caricatures. You know, if I take a long time and <clears throat> really do a detailed sketch and then draw it more than once, a few times, if I do that, <clears throat> then I am going to uh, obviously have a much more detailed caricature. But this is the method I use whenever I'm at a live event. I know I seem to repeat myself a lot, but I've heard another teacher say that repetition is the mother of skill. Actually, it was Tony Robbins that said that, and he said it a bunch of times. He kept repeating himself every time he said it. So here we go. The chin. Trying to figure out how I'm going to draw this line right now. So, um, yeah, I stopped talking for a second because I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. And the same thing happens at events sometimes because you have to keep drawing. You can't stop and think about it. I mean, you can if you're at home just having fun and practicing. But if you're at an event, you need to just keep on moving forward and putting lines down. Now to find the top of an ear, I'm just going to draw like an imaginary line and see where does the top of the ear line up with his eyes. There's like an, a diagonal line that I didn't quite get in there and, and the ear is kind of small compared to uh, other people's ears. I don't know if this is good or not, but let's see how it goes. Now, something I forgot to draw was his glasses. I don't know how I forgot that. It was right in front of my face. But um, this is how I draw glasses then. <clears throat> I usually draw when I first draw the eyes, but now I've drawn the whole face. And... Um, Anyway, I start off with the bridge of the glasses and I think to myself, where is it compared to the eyes? Is it right between the eyes? Or In this case, the bridge of the uh, glasses is way above the eyes. So that's just a quick way to get the glasses on their right and then the shape of the glasses and where they touch. In other words, they're touching the uh, eyebrows and then they're kind of this shape wider up top than they are at the bottom.
So far, so good. Now, because I was talking through it, it, it took longer than four minutes, but that's basically how I would do it at an event. And I just want to say thank you to Chris Allen, who sent in this photo. He's a subscriber to the YouTube channel, and if any of you watching would like to be drawn on my YouTube channel, there's a link in the description, and if you go there, I've created a little form that you can fill out, and if I ever need an idea for a video, I'm gonna be looking through those photos, and I might draw you. So thanks again, and I'll see you on the next one.